Welcome. What you're about to watch is an overview of the Things 3 interface, how it all works, where it all is, some of the highlights so that you know what to expect when you look at the Things 3 interface. This is from my course, Stay Organized with Things 3. You can find a link to take that below, curtismichael.ca slash membership for all the courses, or there's a link directly to the course on Skillshare if you prefer to take it that way. Have an awesome day. In this lesson, we're going to go over a basic interface tour of Things 3. So you can see this is my active Things 3 uh, window and that I have a number of things already in it. We'll go over those. So start off as your inbox. This is where all of your tasks are going to collect um, when you enter them. We'll talk about task entry in the future. Today, this is all the things you should be doing um, that you should have on today. Now, some of these, uh, as I've said, actually are overdue or no longer on my plate. I haven't had a chance to clean up my Things 3 inbox today, but we'll talk about that in the future as well. Upcoming, this is all the things that are coming up for you. So you can see that I have to write a member newsletter and invoice someone on Friday. The anytime list is for tasks that are in your database but don't have a specific time on them. So you can do them anytime you want. Now the Sunday list is a little different from anytime. Sunday is for tasks that you could do someday if you wanted. I actually don't like using the someday list because I feel like it's too cluttered with a whole bunch of wishful thinking that you're never actually going to do. And so when you do your weekly review, when you go through your tasks, you kind of feel guilty about what's there. Something that could go in this maybe is another course that I was going to do. Uh, and I would say someday I will do another course on writing well or reading well. So you manually apply this to a task um, under the date. Right here, you can type someday if you want. Like I said, I don't use them, so I am not going to cover this again. Logbook. Logbook is a history of all the things that you have already done. I don't really ever look at this. I actually have it set up and I'll show you this to work with Obsidian so that Obsidian logs each task on the day it was done. And then I can go back through my Obsidian uh, database if I want to see um, tasks I have done. And then finally, we have the trash. Trash is where tasks go that you have deleted so you can keep track of them later on if you really need to go get them. Again, I don't really ever look in this because when I delete a task, it's because I'm not going to do it because it's no longer relevant because I'm just not going to check it off as a completed task because I don't want it to have that status in my vault. Some other places you can look for different interface elements in Things 3 is in the settings. So there's lots of different settings. We'll cover some of these as we go. Right, our general settings, how you want our uh, items to be moved to the logbook, right? We can do it immediately, daily, or manually. We can change the badge count. Uh, we can go to things cloud as well. We can change our quick entry keyboard commands, which we'll cover. We can change how it interfaces with reminders, and we can also bring up our calendar if we want. And we'll talk about those, some of these specific features specifically in future lessons. Next up, we're going to go over specifically what areas, projects, tasks, and headings are so that you can organize your tasks and your projects.